No, 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 no. Ow. <laughs> and welcome back to some more range round. Right, so I've done a little bit, a tiny, tiny little bit. I finished up the little hole I had over here. Hang on. Yeah, this, this isn't right. And a little bit like a show. There we go, flat. Yes. So I finished up this area. Now I just need some buildings. I'm just gonna attempt to build... I'm, I presume with a little bit more regular stone and wood. Now, I should really just have a pallet somewhere. Honestly, I think that I need a, a section where I have every building block. Oop, oh, 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 because I do have quite a bit of room. I mean, I could technically just create a... Hmm, yeah, a long way over here. And then I could place every building block just so that I can get another rough idea. But yeah, I removed a pallet that I had not long ago. Hmm. But yeah, I'm thinking some sort of wood blocks would go well together with some simple stone blocks to create some smaller housing. Maybe. We, we will see. Now, you may also notice that there's something big off in the sky. Oh, yes, yes. So I, I did have a little bit of time yesterday. Ah. <sighs> My daughter did sleep. Well, she didn't sleep for long, so this took me about to... Uh, not, not too long, maybe 20 minutes? Again, let's see. It is my sky base that I have expanded. Just a little bit. And essentially what I have done is that I've created a border around the entire building area. So that it will be... Yeah, I mean, a little bit easier to traverse around. Now, I've already tested that from the edge of the sky base I can reach all the way down to, well, Scatterbone. So, yeah, I mean, I managed to get all the way over here, which means that I should be able to get all the way over here. Now, I am not able to reach the Black Mire. I can only get approximately here from the very edge of that point. But yeah, I mean, it is, um, I mean, that, that it's, it's something. Now, the thing is, I could also build bigger, well, taller, higher. I could build this entire thing a fair bit higher, I think, at least. But essentially, I'm going to use the word essentially quite a few times. I mean, I've always known that there would be something in the volcano, the Pillars of Creation. Like, there has to be something more. And yes, there, there was something more. There's going to be a fancy portal over there, so I didn't want it to go too high. Now, honestly, when I was building this thing, it was after they removed infinite flying. So I needed a vantage point so that I could get placer, places faster. Uh, but yeah, I also stopped because I fell down quite a few times while constructing this thing. So yeah, it, it takes a while to get down if I want to get right down to the volcano. But mm, yeah, it's, uh, it is something. Now, I could also just close in this entire thing and then create... Uh, you know, some terrain blocks, and I could make it look rather fancy. And I do wonder if we ever get invasions, how is, like, sky bases gonna be affected by that? <laughs> uh, I mean, mobs can't spawn within the uh, flame altar area, so, yeah, it would basically be safe forever, unless there is more flying enemies. Yeah, it also gives us uh, quite a nice shadow down over there. Now, I must say, it looked a lot more intimidating from my base. Um, yeah. Now, I do wonder, can I actually get... I mean, it takes a minute. Let's see, how far can I get in this direction? If I aim towards the hollow holes, which is right over there. There we have Brittle Brush. I wonder, can I reach Brittle Brush? I guess I will just do a jump and then immediately do an updraft and we will see how far I get. Yes, <laughs> invigorating content. Now again, back when there was infinite flight, oh boy, that was something. Hopefully they add something with the mountain update. I mean, infinite flight was very OP, but uh, I want something. Give us another updraft at least. A double updraft, please. <laughs> uh. Well, it's, uh, it's looking like something. I mean, I could also just speed up this part of the video, but uh, uh, it's early in the morning, so you're gonna get a little bit of my rambling at the start of the day. Yes. 
Yeah, we also do have, like, this thing. That's a rather big wall. I wonder if that could potentially be an entrance. Because it would be a little bit strange, I think, if they added, like, a pathway to the uh, mountain biome. I mean, it kind of has to be around here, because this is level 25 area. But, like, if it was around here, this is, like, a lot lower lower level. Hmm. Just thinking about the potential flow of the game. I mean, I do enjoy there not being a linear path to take. That if you are, let's say, level 15 or something in the Nomad Highlands and then you just discover a path up the mountains, now you're most likely going to be destroyed by level 35 enemies, but that, I think that is really good. I think that is awesome. Uh, that is real Dark Soulsy vibes. That, oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be in this area right now. I'm supposed to be... <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm supposed to be doing something else. Right, okay, I was distracted. Well, I didn't manage to get all the way over there. No, it is... I mean, it is far. Hmm. And there's also more up. Right, well, we're gonna give it a go with the Dreadbane. Now, I... I'm fairly certain that I have already gotten it a little bit spoiled. Oh, okay, there's a lot of enemies. That... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Ow. <laughs> Uh, that the Dreadbane only comes up to rare quality. Well, at least I'm over here now. Ah, uh, you little biscuits. What? Didn't even die. Uh, okay, eat some food then. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, bomber beetles. Uh, yeah, my mortal enemies. Okay, careful now. Ow, over here. Did I? And here we have Dreadbane in just common quality. Okie dokie. There's a lot of enemies. Shush. And dogs. And oh, okay. Yeah, they're fighting each other over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a great way to start a video. Oh, one thing. My wife has yet to encounter any bomber beetles. Yeah, I do believe that you encounter them once you get into the Kindle Waste. I mean, we're fairly close. We're at a, what I like to call the Sulfur Farm. Which is, hang on, do I have a time? Ah, okay, uh, one little biscuit. What? I need to equip this again. So what now? Okay, well, two. Oh, I thought it was a bear. <laughs> I really thought oh, that I added bears. Uh, right, where is Zed mine? Yeah, some sun shimmer south t south terrain? Well, <laughs> no, that's, that's a name and a half. We managed to get there, and the elixir well, that is fairly close to that one, is uh, infested with bomber beetles. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so it's, um, I mean, you are able to fly uh, very far, but uh, I, I sense danger. No, ow. Uh, let's see, yeah, well, I do have bandages that heal poison. Like, apparently, I didn't know this, <laughs> I mean, I should know, but, yeah, the regular bandages does not heal poison, the poison tick damage, which... I mean, it makes sense, because in order to make these uh, cl uh, clean bandages, you need antiseptic. And antiseptic is, you know, for, for the poison. But, huh. It, it, it was strange. Oh, I'm getting so excited for the update. I just wanted to come out yesterday. Uh, but, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Yeah, well, I got more stuff to do in the base, at least to build a couple more sections. I need to finish stuff up, and I also need to gather up some materials, I think. Right, okay, because what I need to do, I'm just gonna reiterate, this is mostly for me, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I need to, I mean, I like the cliffside here, but over here I need to do something. I'm not sure exactly what. I could bring, hmm, yeah, I could make a flowery soil right down here, kinda, from this way, and just bury this side of the mountain. That's a potential thing that I can do. Maybe, maybe. This thing, yeah, I mean, I could also just encapsulate this edge with more of the flower soil, so it's kind of spread out. Oh, if we were able to build slippery blocks, like use the mudslide things that are around somewhere, I mean, it's one to the entrance of the salt mines and such, but yeah, you could build a Teletubby house. The reason why I'm <laughs> referencing Teletubbies is uh, I attempted to watch an episode together with my daughter. Oh boy, uh, the 
Not for me. No, no siree. I mean, I did watch Teletubbies, like the original, a little bit, but I was, I guess I was a little bit too old. Uh, I did not enjoy the sound of the microphones back then, they were scary. I remember that. Right, okay, anyhow, stop reminiscing about ancient times. I need to think, what could I do over here? Yeah, if I just bring down the flowery area a little bit, actually I could also just Basically, make it fall down there, and then there would be a flower part of the mountain. And then I could finish up this area. Probably gonna end up removing this part. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now, I do wonder, how would I actually fix this issue? Hmm. I mean, I could just use another flame altar on the other side, build twice as big. But yeah, that's not necessarily something that I want to do. I also started a little bit more with the wall, but uh, it, it's gonna take some time. Like, menial tasks that are repetitive is not my forte. Right, and I'm thinking, yeah, I probably need some more of these limestone tiles, so that I can close in this area, I think, may maybe. Now, I should also just perpetually grow more food and, well, plants and resources, too. I mean, I have a tendency to not grow anything unless I need it then and there. But yeah, oh, on a modern... Yeah, a little bit of a showcase. Yeah, I did play some more trampoline things uh, over here. So that I can get a vantage point to my little abode. I mean, it's, it's surprisingly small, I must say. Like the base, the content of it. I mean, from down below, it looked huge, but when I was building that area, I kind of realized that, well, that thing is the same area as this thing, but it just feels so much bigger. But now when I look at it, it's, uh, it's actually rather small. Now I, hmm, now I've taken a lot of time just to build out there, but I could also expand, like, the main city, right? Not sure what I want to do. Oh, that is the issue. Now, I do enjoy being able to see Mostly everything from around here, like the main house, a little bit of a tiny village, and, like, I wanted it to be, like, a trading area where good old Glen is, Glen the Goblin statue. We also have a few hobbit holes, and an entrance to the Mina Shrine with all the flower soil, and then a little bit of a poorer district down below, which is gonna include quite a few, like, wooden houses. And we also have, like, the entire <laughs> uh, mountain that we need to hollow out and potentially build something in there. Yeah, but I'm, uh, hmm. I mean, I think it gives it some character that there's uh, weird stuff around, like that thing. And also this thing. <clears throat> Makes it feels like, if it, I mean, it feels like it's been just plunked down. This entire thing has been just like, no, we're gonna build a city right here. We have this <laughs> lot to take, uh, or we own this square, everything within the square is now ours and everything else is just gonna be cut in half. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I must say, as much as I describe myself as not a builder, oh boy do I enjoy what I've done over here. And also a little bit of a woohoo. Uh, oh yeah, this is also very fun. I wish that th this didn't take as much, uh, you know, stamina. But, uh, uh, what you gonna do? Ah, oh, so close. I had some precision aiming right over there. Ah, uh, good old Glen. A boing. <laughs> yeah. I also need to do something with this wall. Yeah, I'm prob- what, 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 what happened over there? Okay, calm down now. Yeah, because I did s uh, start creating a wall on the outside here. And yeah, I think that I'm just gonna make- I mean, I can just make a wall that goes a little bit down here. And essentially- I don't have to do anything on the outside here because, well, we can't see that because we're out here, we'd, we're outside of the area and we will get teleported home. Oh. Now, I do also wonder, actually, one thing that I'm just gonna attempt to do, uh, let's see, do I have Wisp Potion, right? Uh, let's see, let's use, I'm just gonna make a little bit of a hole just to see if I can reach, aha, uh -huh. well, looky here. <laughs> okay, so that works. Alright, yeah, here's the... Okay, it's at this edge. Edge level. Hmm. Yeah, there's... Uh, oh, there's potential over here. 
Now, I don't necessarily need to dig as far down. Hmm. Okay, now I'm thinking if I put everything at this level, just build up flooring. I mean, I've done a lot of digging around here, but that's not too much of an issue. And then I could make like a sewer system down here. Yeah, a sewer system or a Dwarven Kingdom where you can jump down from the central well. Ooh, that would be great. That is definitely something that I want to do. Oh, but oh boy, is it going to take some time. And sadly, time is something that I do not have <laughs> uh, a lot of. Time is scarce. Yes. Hmm. I mean, it looks very much bigger from afar. It's probably because of the rendering, obviously. But yeah, that looks like a big chunk of alien something something. Yeah. And also there's the, <laughs> there's the thing about the interior. Uh... I mean, yeah, this one hobbit hole, it, it's, it's just empty. Now I placed a double bed over here just to get the extra... <laughs> uh, to get the extra, uh, whatchamacallit, comfort level. Well, I think that I need to be productive, as in real life, yeah. I mean, my daughter could awaken at any moment. So we will see what happens over there. Uh, have, have I done anything in this video? anything at all. I dug a little bit of a hole, showed what I have <laughs> done a little bit here and there previ previously. Uh, right, 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 right. Well, I'm gonna continue to expand the base quite a bit, I think, but chances are that I might be doing it a little bit off camera, unless I have something that I really want to talk about. Right, well, we, we will see. I do want to expand and make it look proper. Well, I think we should do as customs and end the video right here. So I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.